in 2005 to 2006, I um, decided to run away, probably because I was about to turn 30, I think. And I managed to uh, sort myself out with a residency at an international school. So I was very interested in sort of expanding my practice to look at ways in which I could work collaboratively with people. I was really struck by the visual language of the country and how markedly different that was from, from the UK. And that sounds like quite an obvious thing to say, but it really kind of struck me the kind of decorative language that seemed to cover the surfaces of all the buildings and all the, the flora and fauna, you know, very different plants, different trees, different kind of surfaces and textures and, and the cloth, you know, the clothes that people were wearing and the colours were all really bright and strong and very, very different from the kind of muted Scottish palettes, you know, that I'd become familiar with. I started to um, sort of document that just through taking digital photographs. Um, and it was really, I suppose, a bit like keeping a, a visual diary. I guess coming back from that trip and having, um, having not touched clay for a year and sort of coming back to my studio and sort of wondering what I'm going to do with all these photographs and what I'm going to make, it really challenged me and my thinking about my practice and my kind of approach to my practice. And I, and I was really sure that I wanted to kind of respond to that experience. I started making objects, um, well, the, some of these objects that then became, became a final piece of work. And I initially thought that they were going to be maquettes for much larger pieces. And people would come in and they would pick these up and start to handle them and play with them. And I kind of realised that that's, that was it, that's what they were about, and that was really important. And they, these objects allowed me to tell my, my tall tales of my travels. That act of picking up and handling and examining these objects was also really communicating my interest in working with clay, which was all about the making and all about the process of making and so it was transferring that into the kind of audience experience of the objects. The piece Gifts and Occupations which is in this exhibition and, and it, it's been made as a handling collection and really what I, I want it to do is to kind of act as a, as a conversation starter. So all of the little objects that kind of make up the piece could be kind of little catalysts for, for conversations. Um, between the people who are going to kind of come and interact with the work. So I'd really like people to be able to handle the work. And although these objects have come directly from my experience of a very particular place, I think that they've ended up being quite open-ended and quite universal objects and quite kind of curious looking things as well that you can't quite pinpoint where they're from, but there are familiarities to them or they, they tend to remind people of different things. So like this piece, for example, lots of people have talked about um, African art and um, kind of bead making. And um, interestingly, I kind of, this piece I think has come from going to markets in Bangkok and seeing lots of beads, strips of colored beads hanging up in the market. And so it's just that kind of stripiness really. And that's where that's come from. But the object, I think the, the viewer brings meaning and creates meaning within the object. And I'm quite interested in, in those associations. Um, and, I, and I think that that's one of the things that I'm interested in about ceramics and about using clay is that it's a very um, familiar material and we all use it every day. We eat our dinner off it and we drink our tea out of it and we're all very comfortable picking up clay things. But also that idea of gifts and gift giving and how we give decorative objects to one another and, and they become kind of loaded with meaning and different kind of associations. And so I hope that when people come up to these objects, they're small, you know, they're hand size kind of appeals to the magpie in us all, you know, the shiny trinkets that um, you want to kind of pick up.